Alright, so I've been left alone at work again, so I'm able to tell you more about what it is I am going to be a part of here at DB Coon Job. Okay, so teams including a minimum, a minimum of two members are required within 20 meters of SCP-02 or its containment area. Personnel should maintain physical contact with one another at all times to confirm there is another person present, as perception may be dulled, skewed, or influenced by proximity to the object. I don't like the sound of that. No personnel under level 3 are permitted within SCP-02. Wait. Will I go inside of it? This requirement may be waived via written authorization from two off-site level 4 administrators. Council staff issued with a waiver must be escorted by at least five level 3 security personnel for the duration of their contact and must be terminally, uh, temporarily surrender their rank and security clearance following contact. Command staff will be escorted at least 5 kilometers from SCP-02 to undergo a 72-hour quarantine and psychological evaluation if deemed fit for return to duty by psych staff, rank and security clearance may be restored when quarantine expires. What the fuck? Description, SCP-02 resembles a t tumorous, fleshy growth with volume roughly to 60 meters cubed or, you know, 2,000 feet cubed. An iron valve hatch on one side uh, leads into its interior, which appears to be standard low rent apartment of modest size. One wall of the room possesses a single window through no such opening is visible from the exterior. The room contains furniture, which upon closer a close examination, appears to be sculpted bone woven hair and various other biological substances produced by the human body. What the fuck? All matter tested thus far shows independent or fragmented DNA sequences from each other object in the room. So basically inside this apartment in this room is a bunch of furniture made from humans. And they're all different Refer to Mulhazen report as those letters referenced to date. The subject has re been responsible for the disappearances of several personnel. It has also been in time. It's also it, it has also in its time at the facility further furnished itself with two lamps, a throw rug, a television. Oh no oh, no. These are the people. A radio, a beep. It made a radio? Does it work? Three books. What are the books? In an unknown language. Okay, four children's toys. At least it's for the whole family. A small potted plant. What kind of plant? It's a plant growing. Test a variety of uh, lab animals, included higher primates, have failed to provoke a response in SCP-02. Cadavers, as well, fail to produce any effect. Whatever process the subject uses to convert organic material into furnishing is apparently only fascinating in the introduction of living humans. Holy crap. Um, this is a brief report detailing the discovery is SCP-02, so this is how they found it. Okay, the subject was discovered in a small crater in northern Portugal, where it struck to Earth from orbit in case of a thick rock. The fleshy exterior of the object was exposed to the impact, was exposed by the impact a native farmer happened upon the site, reported it. Or his findings to the village elder. Subject gained SCP attention when a level 4 agent posted in the area detained a small radioactive anomaly generated by the object. A collection squad of SCP security personnel led by General Mulholson was immediately dispatched to the area. Well, that's good. Where they quickly secured the subject in a 
large container and perform initial testing with subjects recruited from the near Oh, no. Thank you, Slovacles. Not at all. I don't know what I can do for this place. I'm going to have to see my paycheck. Three men eventually sent to the, into the structure subsequently disappeared. Upon discovering this deadly property of the subject, General Mohelson ensured a level for a termination order of any witnesses. Roughly a third of the village Oh, Is that where a lot of the furniture came from? I'm sure that no outside knowledge of the object. And initialed its transport to SCP facility that they expunged. During preparations for transport, four SCP security personnel were inexplic inexplicably drawn inside the object where they too immediately disappeared. Following inspection, it appeared as if the object had grown several new furnishings and was beginning to look like the interior of an apartment room. General Moholson immediately ordered the requisition of several Class Three hazmat suits for the remaining security team members who proceeded to lift the container onto the weighted freight uh, ship for transfer to the SVCP containment facility. A lot of missing data following the termination of General Moholson SCP-02 was resecured by SCP staff and brought into special containment in classified where, the, where it would currently reside. Staff with clearance level below level 3 have been denied access. Well, fucking I don't want to deal with this living room. It just doesn't sound like a living room. I'm everything's just gonna kill me. It's gonna be a gradual time, but hey, at least I get dead home. I think after 90 days, biological mother. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that either. Elusion. <laughs> Well, special containment procedures, SCP-03 is to be maintained at a constant temperature of no less than 35 degrees Celsius and ideally kept above 100 degrees Celsius. No living multicellular organism of category 4 or higher complexity may be allowed to come in contact with SCP-03. In the event of total power failure, if SCP-01 begins to increase its mass, assigned personnel may engage in skin contact with SCP-03. I don't know if I want to. Ideally, personnel may use their body heat to return SCP-01 or 03 to above the critical temperature. However, skin contact may be maintained even in the event of SCP-03. Reaching activation temperature lasting a minimum until SCP-03 advances fully into its second growth stage. Wait, whoa, hold on. So, if power is lost, it's going to grow, and I'm going to have to hug it as it goes. I don't like the sound of that. That just does not sound like a good time. That sounds like some bullshit. Personnel who enter SCP-03 containment area must first be examined for body parasites of category 4 or higher complexity and sterilized if such organized organisms are present. All personnel who have come in physical contact with SCP-03 are to immediately report for sterilization afterwards. SCP-03-1 must not be removed from SCP-02-03. Oh my god, so many except in the case of emergency procedures detailed above. Any significant change in SCP-03's rune activity... <coughs> Wait, I thought it was a microchip. It has runes? Oh my goodness, I just... Including patterns, frequency, or color should be reported within three hours of occurrence. I think maybe it should be reported immediately. Uh, it sounds like things maybe we shouldn't fuck around with. But hey, this is a job and it pays my bills. Oh shit, someone's coming up.